Our YouTube, that's right. 100. It's a KX 100. This is a 1995. Um, the frame has been painted purple. Uh, but going off of the VIN number, it is a 95 KX 100. Um, it was originally green frame. Somebody's painted it. I guess they like the purple better. But this was picked up yesterday. It has new tire on the back. The uh, overall, the parts you see here are in pretty good shape. Um, front tire is not brand new, but not too bad. Um, it does need some new handlebars. So that's that. Now the biggest problem with this bike is this pile of parts. So it was a pretty good deal. I got there. I didn't go through the box all the way. Um, the ad pretty much said that it had a brand new crank and the motor needed to be put back together. So when I got there, the, the owner told me that the that crank here needs to be put in, and it's got the hot rod crank, um, that the crank needs to be put in, and that it needs a new piston. Well, I didn't really look at it too much. I was like, all right, well, for the price that I paid for this, um, it was 200 bucks. I have tons of parts, tons of parts, and tons of parts. And I know those front forks being inverted forks, um, probably go pretty well on eBay and hot rod crank brand new not been used uh, I figured 200 bucks. I could make my money back if I had to but my plan is to actually fix this um, So I made a video a minute ago about just what's going on in the garage because I hadn't made one in a while and Kind of a lot's been going on or a different a lot of different things my plan is to clean off this table and I'm gonna take all the parts for the KX all these parts here I'm going to lay them all out and figure out exactly what nuts and bolts I'm, I have and try to figure out what I'm missing, which could be impossible. Um, but that's what my plan is. So I'm going to lay all this out, figure out what's missing, and figure out where I go from there. If it seems like I, can, I have almost everything and I can get it back together, then that's, that's what I'm going to try to do is put it back together. Now, this bike is tall for, for what my kids would want to ride. Um, so if I can get it to run, maybe just hang on to it until they get older uh, or maybe get rid of it down the road. We'll have to see. So I'm going to clean off this space once I'm done making the video and maybe put the bike up there so it's out of the way and lay all the parts out so it's easy to see and see what it's actually missing. The biggest problem is going to be the head. So he told me that it needed a new piston. So here's the old crank. The actual, the old crank is not that bad. It's not loose, or to me, it doesn't seem loose. I mean, not bad. But when I was looking at the cylinder, I got it home last night, my brother was looking at it, and if you notice, it's got a huge chunk taken out of it right there. And it's all rough, all messed up. So my thought, I'm guessing, that I don't, and I haven't found a piston yet, maybe when I actually go through the bucket I'll find parts of the piston, but looking at it, I'm guessing the piston fell apart, uh, broke that chunk off, and got down in the bottom of the motor. And that's what made them think that it was a good idea to go ahead and uh, replace the crank and they took it all apart. So, these are expensive. I don't know if I can have it re-sleeved, but even if that did work, the actual sleeve seems to be over 100 and getting it done is about 100 so maybe 200 if that's possible um, buying an actual head seems to be um, anywhere from 400 to 800 dollars so um, that's going to be the big problem right there now uh, this is a gasket kit it's not the top end it's the bottom end gasket kit so the two cases the old crank side covers and I mean, a lot of it looks like it's here, but the, the problem I'm going to have is when it comes down to the actual, all the bolts and nuts and trying to piece it all back together. So my thought is, lay it all out, figure out what I'm missing, try to start building the bottom of the motor back together, and then if I can get it all back together and the bottom end seems good, and all that's missing is messed up is that top end, then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be on a search from now until then, maybe for another junk bike or for the part. But 
once I get it all back together and I know that's like the last thing or the you know there's not much else it needs then then I'll figure out whether or not I'm gonna get that one repaired if it's repairable I'm not sure about that chunk or taking out of it or uh, finding another one but anyway thanks for watching Big Drums Garage uh, hopefully I'll be making some videos of this um, in the past a lot of times if I would have found something in boxes like this I would have just gone ahead and parted it out for eBay um, but I think this one I'm actually going to hang on to it for a while and see about piecing it together uh, and see how it goes. Like I said, I've got three kids. The oldest isn't into riding dirt bikes too much or loud noises, um, but it's okay. But my, my two younger ones, they're the ones that are all about riding the full wheelers and the go-karts and stuff. They're a little bit crazier. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, Thanks for watching Big Drums Garage. Make sure you subscribe, uh, hit the like button, and check back later on to see what happens with this KX100. Um, <laughs> who knows exactly what's going to happen with it, but I uh, hope I can get some videos and get something done with it. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.